today I'm going to show you how to beat chapter 4 in survivor.io. We'll go through the best equipment and the best skills to use. Then we'll walk through the entire chapter and take a look at how to beat every monster, every elite, and every boss. I've played chapter 4 more than any chapter in the game because it's a great chapter to farm kills on. But this isn't a guide about farming chapter 4, it's a walkthrough. So if you want to watch a video about how to farm kills on chapter 4, I will leave a link for it in the description. Smash like and subscribe, let's go. The best equipment to use in chapter four if you're playing it for the first time might be your best equipment with the best grade. Your equipment that has the most skills unlocked and the highest base stat. For weapons, the kunai is an excellent choice due to its speed and auto aiming capability. The light chaser is also a great weapon to use in just about any chapter. It can automatically hit targets all around your hero. And the bat can really get you out of sticky situations if you get swarmed by mobs from both sides. However, in this walkthrough, I'm going to use an excellent grade revolver as my weapon, which isn't exactly a recommendation recommended weapon to use. We're also going to use an excellent grade protective suit that releases a radiation pulse every time the hero gets hit because it's the best chest piece we have. If you have excellent grade equipment, I recommend equipping it and if you have multiple choices this early on in the game, good for you, you're lucky. But it can be hard to know which piece of equipment to use and if you need more in-depth advice, check out the second video I'm going to link in the description today where I rank every piece of equipment in the game on a tier list. Chapter 4 is the first vertical chapter in the game and it's easy to get sandwiched between mobs of high HP zombies, so a skill like the force field can help push them away as well as damage them if they get too close. In addition, it's a great skill to have evolved before the 10 minute mark because things can get really hectic. The Guardian is another great skill to use in Chapter 4. Just like with the force field, the Guardian will knock the enemy back as well as cause damage. These two skills combined work really well when things start to get tough. The Drill Shot can hit multiple targets in the distance, which can be very helpful in this chapter. Chapter 4 is vertical, so there isn't much room to move around around compared to an open chapter, and that allows the drills to potentially hit more targets. When the drill shot is evolved, it will turn into the whistling arrow which automatically targets enemies like a homing missile. The lightning emitter is a great boss killer and can defeat enemies all over the map. It will automatically target enemies which makes it very effective. The soccer ball can bounce around and cause damage all over the map. It works well in close combat situations and can potentially deal the most damage. The RPG and Molotov are also two great choices to use in this chapter, and the two skills often used for kill farming purposes on this chapter. Alright, let's go. Here's chapter 4. For the first 30 seconds, we will face zombies. I'm going to quickly loot the green biofuel and select the guardian to help me take out the zombies. After 30 seconds, zombies in suits who throw phones when they die will appear, and I'm going to select the lightning emitter here to take out zombies in the distance, and so we have it leveled up when we take on bosses later on. The guardian is also a good choice to use against the phone throwing zombies because the spinning tops can deflect the phones being thrown at you. At 122, we find a bomb, and bombs are great to use against mobs of high HP monsters, bosses, and elites. So let's come back to it later when we need it. After 1 minute and 30 seconds, zombie dogs will appear from both sides. They're easy to kill, but there's a lot of them, and they're fast, so skills like the force field and guardian may be useful here, as well as a weapon that can hit targets on multiple sides like the light chaser. At the 2 minute mark, an elite construction worker zombie who spawns smaller zombies will appear, and now could be a good time to use that bomb we saved earlier. Ah, there we go, worked like a charm. When an elite dies, they drop a chest, and if you open the chest when you have a 5 star skill and compatible passive skill, you will automatically get the evolved version of the skill. So let's save this chest for later. Also keep note that bigger mobs of zombies may start to spawn from both sides, and I really wish I had excellent grade shiny wrist guards here to wipe these mobs out. At 3 minutes is an alert, and we have more dogs approaching alongside zombies in suits. And at around 4.37, we stumbled upon two bombs and some food, yummy. These are great options to use in a boss fight, so let's stay around and wait. Because at the 5 minute mark is the first boss and it's the Corpse Hound. He will immediately try to rush us, but we have those two bombs, so he easily goes down. Once the boss is defeated, orange monsters with higher HP will appear from both sides. They drop blue and gold biofuel when they die, which helps you level up faster, so kill as many as you can and look for magnets to pull the loot your way. At 6 minutes into the chapter, giant mobs of zombies will appear from both sides alongside flying pink monsters. 
At around 6.45, we have a 5-star force field and an energy drink, so let's head to the chest from before to get a force barrier evo skill. We're going to push our way through with the guardian and force field, and the drill shot will take out enemies nicely in the distance for us. Here's the chest, let's open it while we fight off orange monsters and other zombies. We're just going to slowly push our way up, loot, and level up as much as we can here. At the 8 minute mark, zombie dogs will appear with mostly zombie businessmen in suits. They're fairly easy to kill, so I suggest to look for items like magnets, bombs, and food because at the 9 minute mark, orange monsters will appear once again alongside an elite. But we're around a lot of bombs, so we can easily defeat it. At 10 minutes is a boss, and here's the Giga Stinger who will walk towards you while launching a series of different pink projectiles. We're going to defeat it by keeping our distance, evading its attacks, and using the lightning emitter and other skills. Once the boss is defeated, zombies, construction worker zombies, and flying pink monsters will storm both sides, and things might start to feel a little cramped. The defender and force barrier are both really going to be helpful here. At 11 minutes, an elite construction worker zombie appears, and it might be hard to fight an elite in between two walls of zombies, so I'm just going to try to walk on my tippy toes around it until it dies. At 12 minutes, orange monsters and zombies appear from both sides, with an elite who will launch orange projectiles when it dies, so don't stand too close to it. At the 13 minute mark, another elite will appear, and this one's stuck behind a box, so let's set them free, and then kill them. There are a lot of orange monsters who drop gold and blue loot, so right now is really your last chance to level up as much as you can before the end of the chapter. At the 14 minute mark, I found a bomb, and construction worker zombies, dogs, and businessmen will appear. Not only that, but we have one minute left to survive before the final boss, and things are really starting to feel crowded. At the 15 minute mark, we have one thing in our way, the final boss, Sapper Worm A. A boss who launches an orange orb that explodes after a duration of time, and blue orbs that explode and launch bombs of energy at you. There's not a lot of space on a vertical chapter, and this boss rapidly attacks. But luckily, it doesn't charge you like other bosses, so it's easy to keep a distance. Let your skills do the work and avoid charge damage. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.